What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald Alfred, coming from San Antonio, Texas. And today on How to Become an Entrepreneur, we're going to be talking about personal philosophies. And in order to understand how to become an entrepreneur, you need to understand successful entrepreneurs' personal philosophies. And with that is how they became who they became. Because you have to study the successful ones who, who who you want to see yourself like. Because I know that you've noticed and seen many successful people who've made it and become rich, famous, and all of that. But they're still sad, depressed, kill themselves, and all that crazy stuff. And the reason that that happens is because they didn't work on themselves. They just ended up acquiring the money. And for for me personally, I'm trying to better myself, not just for the fact of when, you know, just to get extremely large money that I'll be okay, but the personal fact of the matter is I want to be okay in general, and I want to be able to help people get to that level as well to where they'll be happy with themselves. You start to think that a certain amount of money or a certain place in your career is going to become, is going to make you feel that way, but that's not true. You can feel like that right now. Perfect example is, think about maybe there was a time in your life where you really, really wanted something, you was really hoping for it, and then you finally grabbed it and obtained it, and you were like, is that all there is to this? This is it? And then it's like big whoop. So, you know, you have to get your personal philosophies and your your inner self correct because that money, when you obtain it, is not gonna it's not gonna do anything for you. So the first thing to get to that uh, level, that plateau, is one you need to work on what you believe in, what you think can happen for or not for you. Because the person that says that they can and the person that says that they can't are both correct. It all depends on what you can believe, what you uh, do believe in, not what you can believe in. But that, that works too. But, you know, the person that keeps saying, I can't find it, I can't do it, I can't do that, they're right. They're right. And you should try to avoid them. <laughs> negative people, those negative Nancys don't get you that far. But the people who says, I'm going to do this... I can do this, and they come in with that winning spirit, that winning attitude, knowing that they have full confidence, that's normally the person who does win and does accomplish what they want to. Why? Because they have that full belief. Second, work harder on yourself than on your job. Reason being is because if you lose your job tomorrow, boom, you lost it. You're the one that's up and going. You put all that work in at the job, that's that. You lost that. But you always have yourself. And people buy people. People don't buy products. So you put all that work into it, but they're really buying into you, the person, anyways. When you go for your next job or when you start your next business or, you know, your next point and goal in life, they buy into you, the person. They don't buy into the product. Sometimes people might not even fully understand the product, but they just jump in it because they buy you. So work on yourself first, or that, but work on yourself harder than you work on your job. And third is the most important thing is in order for change to occur, you must first change. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have actually seen the movie Notorious about uh, the rapper Notorious B.I.G., but in the movie, uh, he said that he wanted to change the world. And uh, P. Diddy told him in order to change the world, you have to first change yourself. And that's exactly what that is. Because imagine how thorough and complex you are if you try to change the world now. It's not going to happen. You know, it wouldn't even build it right. But if you change yourself first, you will immediately start seeing changes occur in your life all because you made those changes. If you want to know what your life is going to look like in five years, just look at what you're doing right now.
if you've been doing the same thing over and over again, then it's probably going to look like the last five years. So that's, that's really all I wanted to say to you guys, man. Uh, I have a free webinar down below. Uh, free is live. Um, it'll be on Wednesday at 9 o'clock. Go ahead, click the link, register for it, and just get to be around top earners and people who are in six and seven figures so they can help you right there live on the spot. So I'm glad you guys stopped by. Check out some more of my videos. Subscribe to the page. Have a great one.